This AI tool processes high-resolution underwater photos and videos in just seconds, and it's changing the way marine scientists work by cutting hours or even years off of seafloor image analysis. British Antarctic Survey scientists have been using the tool to map Antarctica's vulnerable marine ecosystems. It quickly identifies and labels deep-sea species such as starfish, corals, sponges, and fish. It was trained on 100 carefully annotated images, captured at depths of about 7,000 feet from a German expedition in the Weddell Sea. Marine biogeographer Hugh Griffiths said the technology overcomes a major hurdle in biodiversity monitoring. This dramatic change in the speed in which we can process data through AI means that something that we would have collected 10 years ago, we might still be working on today to work through all the photographs. But now if we go out there, we can have the answers before we even come back from the ship, meaning that we can do something immediate with that and the data isn't out of date by the time we know what's happening. Manual labeling once took up to eight hours per image because that one image could have thousands of tiny animals to identify. Now, with human oversight, the system enables real-time analysis on research vessels. The model even handles challenges like overlapping organisms and novel species in the images. We do know that in Antarctica, we find so many new species. So I'll give you an idea that 10 to 20% of the animals we'll pull up in a net could be new to science every time we go down there. So we know that this system is going to be finding new species or in fact having trouble with them because we haven't been able to teach it those species yet so those will be the stumbling blocks for it and the bits that we have to do the extra human work on then to teach it what they are once we know it's something new the antarctic seafloor hosts over 94 percent of southern ocean species most endemic and finely tuned to icy conditions with warming oceans and human activities threatening these habitats the tool is processing a backlog of 30,000 images. It could transform how protected areas are designated, replacing destructive dredging with non-invasive surveys. Griffiths warns that without such tools, critical habitats will risk unnoticed loss. So really it's the changing numbers, the changing ratios, but also anything we haven't seen before or something we see a lot then disappearing would be warning signs of climate change.